I don't really keep up with Spider-Man games. The last game I played of Spider-Man was on the PS2, and I was interested in Web of Shadows on the Xbox, but never got round to getting it. I was a big Spider-Man fan when I was a kid. Well, I'm glad I grew out of that while I was still young, because the insane stuff that's going on now is absolutely unbelievable. Someone had asked me to do a review on the Spider-Man 2 game that's out, I'll start by letting you know that I have no interest in Spider-Man anymore. I grew out of superheroes and could never get back into them. However, I'm speaking from a perspective of someone who used to be a big fan of Spider-Man, and now I'm just taking a look at where Spider-Man 2 has come after all these years. And bloody hell, this game is worse than Mortal Kombat. I can't believe how stupid this game is. This game is like some LGTV activists who are commissioned to write and direct the design of this game. Or the story, rather. Every character in this game looks like he has some LGTV agenda. This game is filled to the brim with pandering to people who think they're victims of something. There's an actual mission where you have to help a gay kid ask another gay kid out on a date. What the hell kind of game is that? What the hell does this have to do with a superhero game? What's happened to Spider-Man? I thought superhero games were about having a thrilling way of moving through a city and fighting with villains. What have I missed all these years that superhero games are now about doing worthless errands for people, one of which is helping gay people get together in a relationship? Do you realize how stupid that sounds? What kind of weirdo, agenda-driven people wrote this shit? Are you out of your mind? I saw the puzzles in the game as well, and they look horrendously garbage. They look so boring and shit. Why has gaming turned into a chore where you just sit and try to complete stupid puzzles? You have a character that can swing around cities, but instead you're standing around doing errands for people and playing shit minigames and even changing into other characters so that you can run around the city like an ordinary person. If I buy a Spider-Man game, I expect to play as Spider-Man and nothing else. At the very most, I expect to be able to unlock a villain to play with. That's it. Not ordinary people, villains and superheroes. What's happened to gaming? This is such an embarrassment. Also, since when were there two Spider-Mans? I've really missed something here. Why the hell does everyone in the game look like if you say one thing wrong, then they'll get offended and try to cancel you? Every character in this game looks like they were formed by a woke propaganda agenda, and the design directors want to shove it in your face. When I watched Spider-Man growing up, I simply enjoyed an interesting superhero, with interesting superhero stories, episode by episode, and like any kid who loved Spider-Man, I wanted to be like Spider-Man. I would always make the spidey web hands, hoping that one day some webs would shoot out of my wrists. And we used to make web shooting contraptions that would help us feel more like Spider-Man. Why are our games being designed and directed by people who want to force an LGBT propaganda? What does being gay have to do with a superhero game? If you want someone gay in the game, have it. But don't make the game about doing gay stuff. We don't have games where one person asks you to go to the neighbor and ask if he could borrow his lawnmower. You're a superhero, not a super errand boy. Spider-Man is supposed to be swinging around the city looking for criminals to stop. And he's supposed to be fighting with villains. Why the fuck do I have to sit here and explain this? There's even a scene where a Ukraine flag is being displayed in the back of a shop. What the hell? Video games are supposed to be an escape from reality, an enjoyment of fantasy. If I want to be reminded about real life world issues, I'll go and watch the damn news. What a disgrace the gaming industry has become. I remember playing Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. 
on the original PlayStation. That game was so much fun. You go through the whole game beating up villains and trying not to die and fighting super villain bosses and it was fun. What's gaming become where you're a superhero and you're playing stupid mini games such as redirecting light reflectors to complete a puzzle challenge? In Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro on the PlayStation, I remember one mission where there was a massive bomb that could destroy a whole city block and you had to disable it. To disable it, you have to swing around the city and find four keys guarded by villains. And you had a time limit to find those keys before the mega bomb goes off. That was fun and high pressure. Something appropriate to a real Spider-Man game. But here, after years of not having anything to do with Spider-Man, today I find out that one of the missions in Spider-Man is to set up a silly relationship between people. There's even a boss battle where you're fighting with a female Venom, which actually looks like a good idea. A new female Venom called Scream. I think the idea and character design is good. It's something new and looks cool. But because she's written by an extremist feminist who makes stupid decisions, the boss fight is more like an argument that the lead writer probably had in a previous relationship which is being played out in a Spider-Man game. There's a bus battle going on, and at the same time there's an argument between an angry woman and a bitch soy boy who keeps being apologetic. This isn't the Spider-Man I watched. This isn't the Spider-Man I wanted to be when I was a kid. What action-seeking young lad would look up to this pussy version of Spider-Man? While fighting, they're arguing about normal people's stuff like paying the bills, paying the mortgage, getting a job. Is this a joke? Is this what Spider-Man has become? Why is Spider-Man so apologetic and weak? Why is the woman Spider-Man? <laughs> I mean, female Spider-Man. Woman Venom. Why is the woman Venom so argumentative? Why doesn't he have confidence and some manly grit? like the old Spider-Man did. Well, we can see why. Look at the silly people writing this game. These soy latte people are the problem. Stop buying this shit. Stop giving these propaganda peddlers your money. You as the customer are the market. You can control what companies can be successful and what companies will fall. The power is in your hands as the customer. Don't give them your money and you'll see how your power as a customer affects these stupid companies. They will get buried. I really thought Mortal Kombat was bad, but Mortal Kombat was just the tip of the iceberg.